never active range of motion measurement and passive range of motion measurement. Again, it's saying a difference that when you do active range of motion measurement, all the action is being done by the therapist, I'm oh, sorry, patient. And when you have passive, all the motion is being done by the therapist here. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate first the active. Okay, so sir, this is expected that you serve good morning and the physical therapist for today, sir. Okay, sir, uh, what we're going to do for today before we're going to click it is that we're going to assess first your range of motion. Uh, wherein we're going to extend, sir, up to what extent you can bend your neck, your cervical flexion, or you can move your head and neck, sir. So to determine if ever there's any limitation of motion, so you can and neck here. Uh -huh. So we have mentioned there the purpose, we have the report, and measuring there also the rationale in why you're going to take such so, sir, which is going to determine if there are any limitation of motion with regards to your head and neck contracts. Clear? Clear. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So after explaining that, okay, sir, we're going to use, you have to introduce the device, sir, we're going to use this device. So, sir, this is what pressure is going on with your sir. So, this is just same like a tape measure that we're going to measure here. You don't have to further explain that, sir, this is the proximal arm service that this guy arm. No more, no need. You just have to introduce that this is the geometer of use of measure. Okay, there. Yeah. Okay. So, sir, uh, during this measurement, sir, so I want you to do the action of bending your head and neck in this way, sir. Try right? to bend that head and neck as you bend. Okay. If maka perform a patient, okay, that. If you can use Shaka G, if you can use Shaka G, you can demonstrate it in front of patient. If you can use Shaka G, so you just have to get an answer by now. Okay, there. So, if you use Shaka G, okay. So, when I'm going to say, sir, that you're going to move, you have to move your head and neck. Okay. Right. Okay. If you're going to look at your book, Book. Yes. Yes, there alignments of goniometer on the next on the next page. The alignments of goniometer. Yeah. Right. So with regards to the parts of the goniometer, you have your face, alignment face. So you have the full crown, the proximal arm or the stationary arm, as well as the distal arm or the moving arm. Okay. alignment there. So most of the focus. So focus on say starting position, where to align the goniometer. Okay. So if we're going to again base it on the passing yung book, so alignment, the full group, this one will be placed where? External Okay, external auditory neutrals. Okay, usually, ani sa kung makalimot kayo mo, usually ang imong full group, tangan na Try to imagine nga na yung extension ng rugplane ba yung nag-anak. Ang imang full club is, ang kanilang extension is should parallel, uh, parallel to the axis of motion sa yung mong place siya. Parallel ha to the axis of motion. So imagine mo, ano ba? Kung butang ang ball pen, ano ba? So clear. So it should be parallel. Okay. So if ever to the axis of motion. So what's the axis of motion when you do cervical flexion? <coughs> Corona. Axis of motion Corona. when you do cervical flexion. Corona. Right, since the plane of motion is cervical plane, so the axis of motion is coronal. Okay. Okay. okay, so if you're going to place your full probe in that way, that way on your measure is a pubescent and neck. It's a parallel, see, the perpendicular shell. Yeah. Wow. If you're going also to place your full probe there, Transverse. Okay, it's not far, it's perpendicular. So, what is it? It's very sad. It's very sad. So, ang going to is how to make it far is to place it here. Diba? So, far is just the coronal axis. So, what is it? So, what is it? It's place a full club at the external auditory mea. Auditory mea plus your ear. What is it? It's not going to be sure. It's going to be straight to it. Mr. Ice. Huh? Okay. Okay. Um, and by 
Actually, I forgot to mention this. Patient should be in comfortable position, then. So, sir, are you in your comfortable position? Yes. <laughs> and then, um, you have to sit it that if ever there's a tendency to substitute the untap, especially if you're going to burn your head and then you bend so down top, that is stabilizing. So, how you're going to stabilize? So, either you're going to hold it as therapist from problem lang and align ka sa dunyo ng third One way is to ask the uh, the company in person yung patient to hold the upper top. Or kung wala ka niya, another way is to place their belt na niya siya mong bed. If nalang niya siya, then niya siya mong bed sa top here. Okay. So, next ang i-align niya is the so, in it align niyo sa practical, you just have to mention to us a faculty like full room would be a place, a light sensor of torneatus. Then, as proximal arm or stationary arm is in line where? Chuba. 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 Ground. Okay, so stationary arm or proximal arm is perpendicular or? Parallel. Parallel to the ground. So in this position, this is your, how do you know again that it's stationary? How do you know that the arms of Unyomita is stationary? Arms are proximal. If ever you have observed a values is found on that arm. Wa, wala ang arrow. So if you observe the values, naman yan. so money siya ang stationary or proximal arm. This one would now be the distal or moving so you have the arrow there. But, so, so one there as we mentioned is either parallel to the ground, so money a position of parallel to the ground. Here. So perpendicular to the ground, money a position. Here, the perpendicular to the ground. So it should be in a stationary unit, in a move, or in a basis sign of life, stationary. Now, either perpendicular or parallel. So if ever parallel yun na siya, parallel yun na siya all throughout here. Perpendicular, perpendicular yun siya all throughout. And then, sit on yun siya mo hit. Okay, so let's just say parallel to the ground. Or then perpendicular na. You must use it perpendicular. Here, or yung mag-iwag. Okay, then ang moving arm is now a line where? Asa yung mag-iwag? Asa yung mag-iwag? Good of the nerves. Huh? Base of the nose. Okay, base of the nose. Base of the nose. So base of the nose here and here. Or um, you can have a tongue depressor there. Pwede pakikita ng tongue depressor. So parallel to the tongue depressor. Kung ano na align So that would now be the alignment. Although in measure niya sa patient, you're not going to tell the patient, Sir, ang full probe aligns at sa mga parimeto. Sir, ang... <laughs> Proximal arm is perpendicular. No, you don't have to tell that to your patient. It's on a measure. But in the practical, since you assess my meaning, then you have to tell us the faculty assess you align here. But it's not part of what towards the patient. Huh? Okay. So there, after placing the goniometer and I'll properly align, okay, sir? So, sir, now. I want you to bend your head and neck as what you did a while ago after the count of three. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, move. There. So follow ang himong distal or proximal at the base sa himong nose. So if asa to ang position, if nasa din sa base sa nose, and it ends sa himong, sit with that ang himong arm sa nasa sa base sa level sa himong base sa nose. Here. And then your stationary arm is also Stack state yung siyang perpendicular here. Okay, ang common mistake ay is this. Observe. Ano siya no? Common mistake niya. Okay, sir, I want you to bend your head and uh, your neck after the count of three. One, two, three. And it bend. Mapuyog sa ang stationary. And it turn out. Gamay na lang kaya ang motion sa inyong distal. So, and it turn out. Wala. Ako may motion sa gamay. Because ni kuyog ni siya. Ang stationary. It should be nga straight na na siya. So, man na siya, kung mukuyog gani, ang imong clue niya is, pwede na ibalik yun na straight siya. Mabito na, is station niya is so perpendicular to the ground here. But, this one way of measuring na mukuyog ka as the patient would move here. But, there are times na yung tendency nga di ka makakuyog o move, magibog ka. So, pwede na side niya, there. 
Kena mengkuyuk Abdul Nabil saat the moment said Pada rasa ni, okay sir I want you to bend your head and if you bend After that, I want to treat the bend Kaya nakabend na siya Kasi na yung i-move Here so, There are times na mag-isod mo kuyuk So Makakuyuk ka mo, o kuyuk mo niya Move Hindi kayo mo kakuyuk ako, lahi na mo Here Ano? Bada, asa yung gunyometer? Bad Oh, you get your gunyometer here So, yun yung humana na niya So, you try to look at hair and try to look at the measurement here. Kila. At your eye level. Here. And then, in a demonstration of it. So big. So big, sir. 